Okay, ladies and gents, welcome back to Let's Play Transformers Armada. It's been a while since I played this uh, last, since I did the last part. And uh, I've had some trouble trying to get the recording software up and running, but we're back now. So, let's, uh, for the next one, we're going to switch it up again. Actually, I'm going to keep trying to switch it up for every other level putting a new bot in charge until we get to a certain point, I guess. So, we've had Hot Shot. Let's move on to Red Alert. Combat ready. Now, the guy who does Red Alert in this game is also the one who most will... Well, I guess, depending on whether or not you actually watch the Hub channel, has played uh, Knockout in the recent Transformers Prime series. Recent as of the time of this recording. And I haven't caught up on that series yet. I, I have already mentioned several times my... the certain disdain I have that I don't have anything more than a blaster. But it's an okay series... in general, I suppose? But I just lost interest in it after a while, so... Meh. I'm just gonna keep up with homing missiles. Since I don't have anything else, safeguard. And again, since I don't have anything else, deflector. Now you see those uh, little notches of things in the middle of the screen that build up one, two, three, four, five, and then there are three more that aren't highlighted. That's your Minicon uh, power loadout. Each Minicon has a certain power level. You have two on lock-on, two on deflector, and one on safeguard. Up to a maximum of, depending on your transformer, uh, here it would be five, six, seven, eight. It would be slightly lower for Hotshot and higher for Optimus. Just so you know. Now, moving on to the next drop zone. Oh, great, we're going to Antarctica. Well, you know, I, I said I hate snow, but at this point, it's already getting so warm up here that I'd be praising a return to the cold at any moment right now. Funny how that type of shit will get, yeah. And again, that's the way airflow works. Hot air up, cold air down, and I'm up top. And this place isn't well insulated either, so... INTO THE VORP! Yeah, that was late, but whatever. <sighs> Come on! Anyway, we've arrived at the Arctic and the Decepticons are invading a research station, so... Longarm will accompany you as your partner in the field. You can power link with Longarm, giving you enhanced combat capabilities for a limited period. Be careful, he will absorb your energon when he is combined with you. Do you copy? Confirmed. So, yeah, basically we now have access to singular partner minicons. Basically what they do is give you matrix time at the cost of your health. There's a quick demo here. And it will start draining your energon the longer you use it. Which is why I don't use it very often. We've detected a concentration of minicon signals some distance from here. We'll get a better picture of the situation as you move forward. Did you get that? 
Message received. Yeah, that was great. Anyway. Moving on and moving up and just moving. I hear something. Actually, I'd be hearing a lot better if I turned the volume up, but... Just to be clear. Yep. Laser sentries. Just sentries all together. Annoying little fuckers. It's always best to take them out as quickly as possible before they launch flares. I meant to jump. Because if they launch flares, they'll summon a dropship and a dropship full of Decepticlone soldiers you will not want to fight. You'll just waste your time and this is going to be a constant issue throughout this entire area. I cannot jump high enough to get up there yet, so I'm gonna have to ignore it. Also going a bit roundabout here, because I want to avoid that guy. There'll probably be another one around here somewhere. But I'll keep my eye on this one for now. Because I want to take him out quickly. That's good. I don't think there's anything in there at all, because there's not anything there. At all. Oh uh, boy. One thing about Transformers in this game is that they are not waterproof-like at all. So if you get too deep down in... If you get stuck in deep water, you're going to start losing Energon fast. Uh, thankfully this isn't so deep, but... It's going to be a problem to get across. If we're not careful. Now, I'm not entirely certain there is a sentry up ahead that just simply cannot be avoided. But at least I stopped him before he launched a flare. So, there. Anyway, let's see if we can climb up here and get this minicon. Who are you, little fellow? Oh, another Pidgey. I've had enough of these! Energon Vision. This will be good, um, I suppose for sneaking around in the area up ahead, generally keeping an eye on things where because there will be snow blowing all over the place, and it just it's basically just heat vision sensor, stuff like that. Except it's energon, not heat. It detects anything that has energon. That's smoke. Something's not right. Head over there and investigate further, but be careful. There are Decepticlone patrols in the area. Keep your head down and keep moving. Did you get that? I copy. So yeah, basically we have to run across this crevasse field without being detected. Well, we don't have not to be detected, but it would be very beneficial not to be. So I'm going to take out any of those little sentry bots. Uh Huh, there's a thing down here. Am I safe? A couple of them over there. God, there are lots of them down there. Thought I saw something. I guess that's just the carcass of the ones I just destroyed. And lay downward. <laughs> um, I meant to do that. All right, let's uh, 
left, right, left. I'll use Energon Vision to keep an eye on anything ahead. Yep. Two numbskulls. See if I can sneak up. <laughs> okay. Who am I? Lasers all over the place. Away. Don't come towards me. Go away. I said go away. That's what you get for not doing what I say. Mm. This path looks a little bit too open for me. No, that. I know I keep switching the Energon vision off and on. Just want to keep a quick eye out on my immediate surroundings. Don't want to waste up the energy too quickly. Come on, you fucker. I dare you! Well, at least they didn't have time to call on help. Some large patrols up ahead. I'm, I, as I recall. God, this is moving so slow. What? Where is that? Where is that? Oh boy. Go away. <laughs> I don't want to be caught, not right now. Unpieced carcass. Hm. Guess that works. Oh shit. Okay, it's just uh oh. Got two guys over here running by. Get noticed by them as they sneak up on this fucker. Where'd this guy go? Over here. Coming this way, I just know it. Oh shit! Fuckers, die! Okay, I'm out in the open, that's not entirely positive thing. Who's shooting? Who's shooting? Oh. Music isn't going down. What's going on? Another one. Heard more shots. There. Get away from me! Oh shit. That sentry didn't see me, did it? I didn't hear any alarm. Move quickly.
there. Yeah. Sentries here. Don't come this way. What? Oh! Someone else spotted me. Motherfuck! Where'd the other one go? Ready to get help. Yeah, very exciting commentary, I know, but, uh. You know. This game gets me a little bit tense when I don't have much minicon power to back up. To have. fall back on. And I know there's a lot of other minicon power ups kind of further off in that direction, but I, I kind of want to get this one dealt with ASAP. Get this little objective out of the way, uh, then I'll run around like an idiotic chicken with my head cut off. Okay, crashed plane. Few sentries. Doesn't seem like it's a big deal. Doesn't seem. But there's some patrols in the area. I'm gonna have to make this quick. Just run in, run in. This aircraft was shot down by the enemy. Sensors indicate a nearby research center. The humans must have discovered Minicon stasis panels and were transporting them when the aircraft was hit. Your next objective is that research center. Is that clear? Check. Yeah, let's just grab this guy. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Tell me who you are. Wow, blast toys. <laughs> Grenade launcher... No. Not today. I've got to get going! <laughs> and of course, being one of these four-wheeled SUV all-terrain things, it's easier to get around. Okay, I snuck by them. But unfortunately, if I want to get back, I want to cross... I either have to cross the ridge or plow straight through them. So... Completely missed. Alright, enough- oh god! Oh god! Ah, shit! I am up a creek without paddle! Time to run, or drive, or whatever. Roll out! Oh god. Heavy unit. Forget him! Head for the icebreaker! Forget all of that! Head this way! I see a mini con or something con panel over here I want to check out. I know I've just summoned shit upon myself, Ugh. but I want to get some stuff so I won't have to deal with it later. Yet they're already here. Fuck it. To the panel. Oh, it's a data card. Uh, might as well grab it while I still have a chance. What? Damn it. 
give me energy on at least. Not that I guess I needed all that much. Alright, driving again. Whatever, grab it. Who are you? Who are you? Charmander? Eh. Oh, 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 I'll take him. They are fucking limpet mines are fucking hilarious. They don't get much distance, but when you get in to like when you get them on somebody, they just especially the medium units, they just go nuts. Let me just find one real quick. <laughs> there. Did you see that? He's running around like a loon. Get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off! Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Longhorn. Yeah, that's another thing these extra mini cons do is provide an extra blaster. Where'd that fucker go? He's not running. Oh well, I want to... No, I can't get that one. Fuck it, back to the icebreaker. I don't want to waste any more time here. Actually, before I do, let's have some fun with this lot. Oh my god, 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 oh And that's why the limpet mines are hilarious. Assuming they hit. Oh no, get a bug, get a bug, me! It's a bug! Insecticum! Sometimes we don't notice it, whatever. Dude, get him all! It's a spider! <laughs> oh, 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 no, that wasn't. Well, I'll blow this one up anyway. If you shoot two in succession, it'll automatically detonate. I guess now's my chance to show off Matrix time a little bit better. Not the greatest, and it's kind of fuzzy to be honest. Run away! Run away! They're gonna get us! Let's just activate this real quick. And then go after this guy. Unfortunately, the small guys don't seem to panic all that 
much when it comes to the limpet mines. <sighs> And here is my dearest little friend, the lookout sniper. Uh, actually, I'll keep watchdog for now. HQ. We have a research facility to in infiltrate. That's gonna take some work. Yeah. Fuck you and your lasers. Yeah. Bombs. Oh, another fucker. Hey. Wanna try out the new fashion fad? Limpet mines for your face! And your arm and all your other body parts. God, this is hilarious. Ah, oh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? It's stuck on my face, what do I do? It's stuck in my face, what do I do? Kaboom! What? This area is turning into a flashpoint. The enemy have taken control of the research center and are seizing minicons. Get in there and neutralize the threat. <sighs> is that clear? Understood. Basically, war zone. Go fuck up and stuff. But first, I want to get to this. Warp gate right here. This is probably going to go extraordinarily bad. Like, This is going to end in tears, I just know it, I just know it. Yep, I'm dead. Fuck me! I told you the guys this gate was hard. I suppose I should actually just go back, return to headquarters, alter my minicon loadout, and all that jazz. So, we'll do that and be back very quickly. And we're back. I've gone back to the loadout I had at the start of this level. So that's probably going to be very advantageous. Uh, advantageous to what I have in store. So, let's get this party started. It's better to hit and run mission at the That. And of course, those fucking stupid fuckers. Alright, these are a little bit easier to take out. Come on! Okay, that's one way of taking out. There'll probably be dropships coming here any moment. Yeah. Make my job harder. Eh, don't bother with that. This is 
bloody annoying. And I've got a boss yet to deal with, too. And, uh... Just for the... Just for the word to the... Those who may want to be wise. Don't worry about collateral damage to this area. It's actually kind of beneficial. As we'll see as I continue destroying things. God, so much smoke. Don't want to go over there yet, though. Of course, like I said, you're not going to see any humans in this game, so... Why worry? I'm hoping they probably evacuated or something. Yeah. <laughs> Become slightly more clear as time goes. Oh shit. Prepare for extermination! Okay, yeah, this was kind of a mistake, but uh, welcome to the boss battle of Starscream. This is Starscream. I, I, I don't know what else needs to be said here, other than Starscream. And you know, if you if you don't know who Starscream is, what what, what rock have you been hiding under all these years? Uh, he's a judge. He flies around and he shoots you. And uh, where is he? I, I have no idea. Oh man. Oh, that's the sound of him scraping. Run, run, run! Damn it! I, I, I wanted to postpone this boss battle because there was a minicon here I'd have wanted. Ah! There was a minicon here that would have been very helpful, but I can't activate it during a boss battle. So, crap. Ugh. Of course, he has both lasers and missiles, which means he has some things I can guard against and other things I can't with this minicon. Come on, home in, home in. Damn it. He's a fast fucker. I'm beginning to think I should have brought my rockets instead of this. Get down from there! Oh yeah! That had to hurt. Down to about halfway now. Come on. Get down from there! I had been able to get that mini con. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I actually want to stay away from him in close combat. I actually want to stay away from him in all combat. Full period of stop and whatnot. Why did he... Hey! <laughs> How do you like that, star skunk? I am running low on Energon. And he's smacking me in the face with that... Terrible excuse of a blade. Have you actually ever seen 
seen the toy. That is the bluntest piece of crap I've ever, ever seen used as a blade. More of a beating weapon than anything. Just go down already! There! That's one down. Now what? We go back and stop Cyclonus. I don't think we've seen the last of him yet. <sighs> but anyway, that's it for this part of Let's Play Transformers Armada. I am going to go back and get those damn minicons that I missed before I move on to the next drop zone. So, with that said, I'll see you guys next time when we return to the Amazon.